on a it's just like a random thing that happens. So, uh, and it was silly to approach for all the things to do to it. Alright, yeah. So here's a couple of things. I'm going to find out what it is. It's just a bit, it's a bit of a long English thing. I can do it. You can see you're just starting at the feet here, there's your toes, and then working up through the calf. <coughs> and the darker areas of the muscles surrounded by subcutaneous fat. And then if I put you on a cine loop, we can have a journey through your body to beta. <laughs> The more traditional approach is BMI, body mass index, and that relates to people's height and weight. The problem with that is that you can be of the right height and the right weight, but if you are, say, for example, an athlete or the wrong very small in height, or for example you're very thin, the BMI will give you the wrong um, measurement of how much fat you have. And therefore we have to get away from the BMI measurement and directly measure fat. And that's where MRI comes into the forefront because first of all it tells you a true measurement of how much fat you have. And the second thing that tells you is tells you about external and internal fat, which BMI doesn't tell you. And the third thing they tell you is about ectopic fat, which is the, part, the fat that you deposit, for example, inside the liver, inside the muscle, uh, in the muscle, uh, in the muscle around in your heart, uh, and the pancreas. So that can only be done by techniques uh, such as uh, MRI. Well, I think the use of the MRI scanner at the Hammersmith Hospital is a very interesting and novel way of looking at the way that we store fat. And in time, it will probably show us a lot about how, how that fat is stored in, in um, individuals. Um, however, perhaps the most important message for the, the people on the street, if you like, who may be concerned about their weight, um, is actually to, to think of a much more simple way of doing it. Um, and that's to measure the uh, measurement around their waist.